I never thought I would spend a weekend in Bushwick watching paint dry, but I found myself there one July weekend. The art form of murals date back to cave paintings. Street art, well, it doesn't go that far back, but it did gain popularity back in the 1970s in New York. An artist named Kimion Huggins told me that he was going to paint a mural with his friends and invited me to document the process. Chilling, painting a mural with my friends on a Sunday. So here I was, ready to film them paint art on the side of a grocery store. What do you think when you think about painting? What do I think? I don't, I purposely do my best to think about nothing but painting. I first met Kimian at his Southside Seaport art store. His technique is textured, which requires a lot of patience. His artwork is spiritual and trippy, and in a way, it's an expression of his personality sprinkled on the wall left to interpretation. Huh? I'm waiting painting. for it to dry so I can do another line on it and not smear it. Started to do it there and it smeared to there. Painting is a lot of waiting. Patience, like life. To the left of Kimian was John Arthur Carr, who was painting Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. But clearly he has put a New York spin on it. The expression and hat tilted to the side tell the story of what's happening in Brooklyn. Can we get a nice 3D look of it? Oh no, how are you gonna draw the rest? I got it, it's all in the steel trap up here. Is that, is that noggin? It's in the noggin. Sometimes John paints Dorothy so that she's staring up at the newer condos around Williamsburg. However, John cautions that it's only one interpretation. Sometimes people see Dorothy as a more abstract expression. They could think, is a character looking up at the clouds and thinking? Really, it's like not in Brooklyn anymore with the, uh, with the Nets hat. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it's basically like, you know, the only thing that's constant has changed and we're just, you know, brave new world. It was interesting to see moments of inspiration manifest in him. He would just be standing around waiting for the paint to dry and then would go and spray paint more of his vision onto the wall. That moment of inspiration is not steady and it's uncertain of when it will strike. I realized that the piece wasn't going to be done tonight, so I made plans to return to see a more finished piece tomorrow. Back to see how the mural turned out. I think he's actually done. Hey, are you done? No. It's important for you know the locals to know that art is for them too. It's not just about in a museum. Like street art is digestible. Why is this fun? Because it's just being a large child on a big wall and not getting in trouble for it. It's not fun about that. Street art as a visual platform intrigued me. Art is about how it makes you feel, and for those people walking to get their eggs and coffee at the grocery store, they might be touched by this art on the wall for as long as it stays there. Rumor has it, it will soon be replaced by ads. <laughs>